Hey everyone, Will here, out here with uh, the chickens. That is uh, Sylvia, something scared her, and uh, that's uh, Betty, looking for some uh, bugs or seeds. And uh, there's uh, Go Go, and there's uh, Beatrix. So everybody's uh, looking around the yard. So quick video just picked out a few things uh, actually been finding some pretty cool stuff lately um, picked off the cream of the crop uh, been staying pretty busy not really a whole lot of time but uh, I thought I'd show a couple things uh, first up well, let's do this first up the case uh, double shotgun case made by SKB paid 25 for that about the uh, Beatrix size. Fit a couple Beatrixes in there. Um, really well made, uh, older style case. Uh, this uh, should bring around 125, 150. Love the brass piece. Paid 25 or 30 for this. Really heavy. Got a lot of weight to it. Some kind of. Uh, Hindu god, I'm guessing. Um, and any squirrels out there, Beatrix? You better look. There's squirrels out there. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a high price on that because it's so unusual. Uh, but uh, um, see how that goes. Love the uh, mid-century modern chair. A little bit of damage. Uh, the lady said that the pieces were underneath this tape. They just need to be glued. A little bit of condition issue, but uh, you can see that I paid $8.50. Uh, not bad at all. So, take a look. And this is well marked on the bottom. Uh, Hamilton Costco Incorporated. Um, really neat wire legs. And found this one on Worth Point. Of course, this one is really good condition. It's got the original seat. But look what it sold for. $268.88. Uh, rare salesman sample standing 12 and a half inches tall um, great markings on bottom uh, Hamilton Costco uh, so we got condition issues it's missing the seat but still for $8.50 uh, I think it's uh, it's got to be what easy 100 bucks I mean, how many of these things are out there? Plus, that one sold back uh, six years ago. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, found this. This is a chestnut roaster. Uh, perfect time of year. This unscrews, lifts off. You put your. Uh, your chestnuts in there um, so that's definitely a seasonal thing it's got to get listed uh, 10 bucks might try to put like a 40 or 50 on that got some artwork to show you and uh, some pretty uh, pretty good quality pieces uh, figured out two out of three I could use a little help on this one here uh, it uh, got my interest right off the bat because it's signed uh, titled The Offering it's a limited edition this is number 10 out of 15 uh, it's got a lot of condition issues uh, you got wrinkling you got spots uh, but somebody still went and had it 
professionally framed, which tells me they thought an awful lot about this print to get this professionally framed, even after seeing how much damage it already had. Hey, Betty, you coming up to see what's going on? You hungry again? All right, I'll see if I can scrounge up some food for you, okay? Betty's a good layer, aren't you, girl? Yeah. Let me do a video here. All right. All right, I'll be over. Don't worry. Uh, so I think it's good. I got a good feeling about this one. Uh, the problem is, like most uh, prints, go, go. <laughs> it's okay, go, go. Um, three ring circus around here. The problem is reading the uh, signature. Uh, I think that's uh, R E N A T O, uh, which I looked up that name and there's seems to be a pretty common name. Um, so the rest of them, of course, 1968 um, I M P. I don't know P Y S L Bernard. Very, I don't know. Let me tell you, let me, uh, lots of times, best thing to do when you have a signature that you can't read is to get somebody else's opinion. So I'm asking, let me know what you think. Uh, the other option I have is to take it out of the frame, which I really don't want to do considering it's uh, so nicely done, and uh, hope that. There's a name, uh, some printed on the back of it or something, but uh, um, we'll have to see. I did get lucky on these though. Picked this up actually this morning at the flea market. Got it for eight bucks. Uh, original watercolor. Signed on the back. Uh, over, over hills, E.E. E. roads. So, couldn't really make out what that first name was or the second name, but I know, do know that the first letters are E.E. E. and roads. Kind of figured out this is Eklund, Eklund roads. And uh, this one turned out, this name turned out to be Equiquin, Equin, uh, Eklund Roads, uh, 49. Uh, lived until like 95 or something. Produced a lot of art. Uh, this is probably going to be around a two to three hundred dollar piece. One of my favorites is this one here that I just picked up today too. Uh, all different places. Uh, it caught my eye because I noticed it, it was in original uh, watercolor. Uh, also signed down here M Stokes uh, so right off the bat I see it's original it's signed and look at the framing the framing somebody paid a lot of money for this triple matted um, really well done they had done at Michael's so probably not too long ago um, But the really nice piece. I don't think I would have picked those colors. I think a little more muted colors and maybe an older style frame. But uh, just a, I guess you call her a Victorian uh, lady. Um, 
turns out M. Stokes is Marianne Stokes. Uh, she lived until 1927. Uh, there is, she, there's a painting of hers that just sold on eBay for six hundred dollars, and that was like a twelve by eight. This is a eighteen by twenty. So, uh, I'm going to take a shot on this and uh, um, go for, I'm going to put it on for eBay for like $900. Uh, see what happens. Uh, I like it myself. I'm uh, actually going to hang it on the wall in the house uh, until it sells. So, uh, there we go. Keep an eye out for artwork. You see a lot of stuff that isn't worth anything. And a lot of times it's hard to tell. But if the price is right, take a, uh, take a chance on it. Um, your chance of finding something good is, uh, is probably better than um, having a, uh, going out and buying a lottery ticket. So, uh, till next time, this is Will Yard Sales 5. We'll talk again soon.